Hey guys, so today I have my September favorites for you. Um, I'm just going to jump right in to my face products. Um, for primer, towards the end of this month I finally switched it up a little bit and I picked up at Target because it was on sale the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro. Um, I wanted to try it again because I haven't tried this since uh, at least a couple of years. Um, I haven't tried it since before I started using liquid foundation. This is what I use today. It's just a really great primer. Um, it's not so great for blurring pores, but it really does um, mattify and smooth and really does help keep me matte. Um, yeah, it's a really great drugstore primer for only a couple dollars, so um, I would recommend that. Then for foundation, I finally went back to my CoverWorld Outlast. I have 820 and 825. I've been mixing these together for a better match because 820 by itself is a little bit too pink. So I just mix these together on my beauty blender and then blend it in like that. And it works really great and combined with um, the Rimmel Primer. It's just super affordable and it keeps matte for a really long time. Lasts all day without getting cakey and gross. So that is a really great combo if you're on a budget. So I've been really getting more drugstore minded lately. Um, just trying to find the best things. Although my skin is kind of sensitive so I have to also watch to see you know, if something makes me break out. But I don't think that primer does. And I know this foundation doesn't. So yeah. And then to set my foundation, I've been really liking the Physician's Formula. Um, mineral wear, talc free, mineral airbrushing, pressed powder, and translucent. Um, this doesn't have very much coverage. It does help a little bit, you know, cover any tiny bit of redness that's left, but not a whole lot. So if I have more redness, then I might need to use a different one, like um, my It Cosmetics powder foundation. I've kind of been switching between these two, the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation and this one to set my foundation. Um, this kind of has a luminosity to it and if you look closely at it you can kind of see that but it's not like an actual shimmer. Um, lately I've been really liking just that glow and um, this really gives you that while doing a good job at setting your foundation. So. Um, yeah, but I'm really been enjoying that and it's talc free and everything good for sensitive skin. So I've been liking that. And then, um, of course, it seems like I can't go a month without mentioning my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Um, I'm always adding like one or two at a time. This month I picked up, I ordered um, Cupcake when I ordered my Beauty Blenders. And I've been really liking that. I've only worn it a couple times. Um, but it's just a really beautiful pink that you can just blend into the crease. Vanilla Bean, still loving. It has a pretty good dent in it already because I'll just like use that as my lid color almost every day. And then still loving Peach Smoothie, Creme Brulee, um, which one is that? Oh, Frappe. Yeah, Frappe. I've been really liking that too. And of course Mango Tango. I just love all of them. Highly recommend. And then... For highlight, I'm still just using my MAC shaving powder. Absolutely love it. Although, I almost didn't need it with this Physician's Formula powder because today I used this just to set my under eye concealer and it really brightened it up and gave that effect. So, um, yeah. That is another alternative. But I really do love my MAC shaving powder. And then something I keep forgetting to mention is my Glisten and Glow HK Girl fast drying super shiny clear top coat. This really does help dry your polish super fast. Um, my nails are kind of chipped right now so it's not a very good example but um, I really really love this top coat. You can only get it online. Um, is it glistenandglow.com? I think so. Um, but yeah I heard about this from other people on YouTube and on Instagram and um yeah so you can only get it online but it is a really fantastic top coat and it's really is affordable and then um for lips i'm not wearing it right now but i have just been loving my nyx butter gloss in creme brulee again 
I wear it all the time. If I just need to throw on something for work that I want to have on my lips really easy, I just throw this on, you know, goes with any, pretty much any lipstick if you want to put it on top of a lipstick or just wear it by itself. Um, I actually picked up another one when I was at Ulta yesterday because NYX is 40% off right now at Ulta this week. So if you can, I would highly suggest going to Ulta and picking up this lip gloss. So it's only $2.99 after the 40% off, so you really can't beat it. And then for hair, um, I rarely buy full price leaders, but I got really desperate after I ran out of this for a couple days. I was using other shampoos and my hair just felt horrible. It just still felt dirty no matter what I did. Um, it just felt disgusting and heavy and weighed down. <laughs> so I went to Ulta when last Saturday when they still had it was my husband's birthday so I didn't want to take forever it's his day but I ran in really fast used my coupon and got another liter of this it is the sexy hair smooth sexy hair sulfate free smoothing shampoo um if it's super humid my hair will still get you know kind of frizzy and gross but I just really love how all this cleans um, from being a sulfate-free shampoo. It's one sulfate-free one that I actually really, really like. And it just cleans my hair really well. And I just love it. Obviously, if I ran out and bought another one. So, yes. I really do love this shampoo. It's also um, paraben-free, gluten-free, all that good stuff. Then... Um, since it is now fall, um, I've been loving my fall scents. I have the Cider Mill Scentsy. I absolutely love this. This is a new one that I haven't started using yet. Um, it just smells like cider and pumpkins and spices. And this is just the perfect fall scent if you have a wax warmer, which is what Scentsy is. It's kind of the main brand of wax warmers. And I have a few of them because my friend Hannah sells it. And, um, yeah, just really love these. I'm so out of breath. Whew, that coffee. So this is a really great scent for fall if you love, you know, pumpkin-y, spicy scents like I do. Absolutely love it. And then um, another one that I really like, especially in the fall, is Perk Me Up. It just smells like straight-up coffee. Oh, it's so good. So, yeah, it even looks like coffee. And it smells like coffee, so I really love that one as well. I've been trying to remember to mention those kinds of things. I like hearing about them in other people's videos, like um, Mr. Kong's mom or Melanie does tons of candle reviews and all that, and I really love her. She just did a fall haul for Scentsy um, bars that she got, and there's like a bunch more that I want to try because of her. Um, so, yeah. And she gave me the idea of mixing perk me up with something sweeter for like a latte kind of effect so I think that's a really good idea as well so yeah if you love candles and stuff you should definitely be watching her anyway so that is it for my September favorites I hope you enjoyed and I hope you had a really great month um and I will see you in my next video be sure to follow me on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, and all that good stuff. The links are down below, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>